Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Depending on where you are in this world, God bless you. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we're going to talk about the fruits of the Spirit again, because there's another one, and it's called Long Suffering. And we are going to first go to Romans chapter 12, verse 10 through 13. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love, in honor, preferring one another. And that's um, preferring, uh, giving preference to one another. Not slothful or lagging in diligence in business. Be fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoicing in hope, patient or persevering in tribulation, continuing or steadfastly instant in prayer, distributing to the necessity of saints, given to hospitality. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, let's go to Ephesians. It's uh, the book following Galatians. So, let's... Go to Ephesians, and we're going to be in chapter 4, verses 1 through 2. I, therefore, the prisoner of the Lord, or in the Lord, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation, or the calling wherewith ye are called, with all lowliness and meekness or gentleness, with long suffering, forbearing or bearing with one another in love. Because God is love and He wants us to be loving to one another always. Now we're going to go to the book of Colossians, which is following the book of Philippians. So now we're going to be in Colossians. Chapter 3, and we're going to be in verses 12 through 16. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels or tender mercies, bowels of mercies, which is tender mercy, mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. Forbearing or bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all these things, put on charity, which we know is love, which is the bond of perfection. Perfectness. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts. To the Lord. Now just just know that God is love. He's all about love. Everything that he does for us, he does it because he loves us. He does it with love in his heart. He forgives us. Oh my goodness. Just think of all the things that we've done in our life that we needed forgiveness for. And he gladly he gladly forgave it. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Now we're going to go to 2 Timothy. And it's follow, the two books following Thessalonians. And so we're going to be in 2 Timothy. And we're going to be in chapter 4. And we're going to read verses 1 through 5. I charge ye therefore before God. And the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick or the living and the dead at his appearing 
and his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant or ready in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust. They shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. So here it's saying that we all have a ministry. We all have a doc the doctrine. <laughs> Remember <laughs> when Satan is given power over the saints, how we overcome them. How we overcome him. How do we overcome him? By the blood of the land and the lamb and the word of our testimony. That's how we do it. And as always, I love you.